Let's give John a call so he can tell us what's going on and what we're doing here. Okay. Hello? Hey, John, how you doing? Hi, Lisa, how are you? I'm good. Do you see that maroon bar? Yes. yes. That's the Island Bar and Grill. So we're about five miles outside of Chicago in Blue Island. It's about 47% Hispanic, 29% African American, about 20% Caucasian. So it is a diverse, very ethnic market. And just to give you the scoop, that bar was opened four years ago by Adam. Adam was in the finance business. He opens up this bar to be an income and positive thing for his family. So in the past four years, this poor guy is losing up to $5,000 a month. He's over $100,000 in debt, can you imagine? Wow. His whole family works in this bar. So this has turned into a complete disaster for his family. Alicia will dissect the bar, Eric will dissect the kitchen. We'll get a scope of the building overall and let me know what you see so we can come up with some ideas together to fix it. Then we got to rehuddle it and figure out what our plan of attack will be, okay? You got it. Thank you, John. Talk later. So looking at the outside, it's really, really dark. Gloomy. It looks like it used to be a restaurant at some point. The inside looks a little outdated. I don't even know their identity. What's the theme? Who are you? Now, there's Adam, and that's the owner right there. Welcome to Island Bar. How are you ladies doing? He's the one that bought this place for his family. We got Gerard. He's a kitchen manager, and he's also Adam's uncle. There's Tracy. Now let's take everything towards the back. Why? We got to put them in, man. No, no. Let me get these right here, because we're going to have to carry them in our hand. She's a server, and she's Adam's cousin. Why are you guys so quiet back here? It's Mama Linda. You guys act like we at a funeral. The mom, the uncle, the cousin. Yep. This is truly a family affair. There's another cousin, Kanaz. Oh, I'm sorry, this is Chris. That's Adam, man. This is my big cousin. Oh, this is my everything. He cooks. We got Cherie behind the bar. She's a bartender. Cherie is Adam's sister. That's Prentice. Got you. He's a manager playing pool. During business hours. Yeah. Well, I guess he couldn't fit in the kitchen with the rest of the family, so he must be an outsider. Allison's a bartender. Mm -hmm. So we got a couple people that aren't blood. Okay, so here's the recon John had us sent in. John's recon team arrives at Island Bar and Grill, a 5,000 square foot space with a 40 foot bar, a dance floor, and a staff mostly comprised of the owner's relatives. John really wanted to make sure that we had a local group of guys, but people that have never been to Islands. So this way we get to see a fresh look at how the bartenders treat new people. Hello guys. What's happening ladies? Hands on hips. That's the way you're supposed to go to a table. Mm -hmm. You got micheladas? Who? Micheladas. What the f is that? A beer with tomato juice in it? No. Now what you want? Do you recommend anything? Don't ask me if you're not going to take what I offer. She looks intimidating. She just doesn't look very happy. I'm going to need a drink. I'm hungry. The recon has never been in there, and she's treating him like her cousin. How about a little professionalism? Absolutely. Did you go stick with the onion rings? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have a you know, drink. I'll take the uh, shrimp and grits. Look at this grease in this fryer, how black it is. OK, 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 OK. If John was here, he would flip the out. I can tell you right now that they're not taking time at the end of their shift to drain that fryer and clean it properly. The hoods are loaded with grease. Stove top is filthy. Obviously, they haven't cleaned this kitchen in a long time. With that many people standing around, you think somebody would have time to change out some grease? Come on, let's get these orders out. No, he told me, they say put them down. Calm your nerves, you. Man, Calm I'm down. Man, I'm gonna go, bro. I got, man, I, got, I got going on, bro. I'm dead serious. There's a lack of training front and back of the house. Absolutely. What kind of drink was that? Now, this is where I need you to help me she understand. She just served a huge bowl of something blue. Look how big that wow. is. Wow. It's real strong. Just... They make it strong. She make it strong. Okay. Like, drink that, dude, you're gonna have to take me home. The biggest thing I learned from John is you want to get them to stay there longer mm -hmm. and you want them to order more drinks. Mm -hmm. John would be the first one to say, you served that to somebody, they're not ordering a second drink. You've literally lost your sale and you've got them way too drunk. Grease, grease, they didn't change it. Trade shrimp. You guys are not happy with this food, we're going to send it back. Seriously. No, you wait, wait till the waitress comes. Where is she? But you have a table of upset guests outside, and she's eating! Seriously, dude? What kind of bull is that, dude? They have a Sunday family meal. OK. You're going to sit out in the dining room and have a meal in the middle of the shift yes. on what should be a busy going out night. Please go in the back and eat, Tracy. 
This is ridiculous. It blows my mind when we come to places like this and they cannot give customer service. Everybody that walks in that door is paying your bills. So are you not eating no chicken? You want to try it. That was a pile of lard. That was like a saw shaker. He dumb. He don't know what you're talking about. We're going to have a problem. Then that grits are good. You know what? You don't like your grits? I plead the fifth. What? <laughs> what did you just say to me? OK, Tracy is on my list. Not only did she try to convince her table not to send the food back, but she gave him attitude. It's not about you. It's not. Adam. Hello, gentlemen. How are you guys doing? They've been unsatisfied with everything. Dad tastes yeah. like this in the same grease. I apologize. Just, just give me one sec. I'll be right back with you. I see him trying to make good with the customers because he just doesn't know how to fix the problem. They didn't, um, they didn't like any of the food. Huh? They said the grits were a little too bit salty. too salty. I kept my <laughs> my up for it. And I ain't no <laughs> idiot. Come like a <laughs> these orders, man. When you bring family into the business that are inexperienced, yeah. then you got yourself just a cluster mess of bodies. Not able bodies, just bodies. I got to go. I'm gone. Nah, we need you to stay. That's Kanaz. They got me doing all this I'm going to work with all the right on. What the doing now? Waiting on me to fill up coolers and all that. They supposed to be in there. Kanaz. Back there cooking when he's all that all day today, man. And then Gerard and back, back there just, man, keep telling me, do this, do that, man. You do that, bro. OK, Gerard is getting on your nerve, but you cannot just walk out like that, Kanaz. Those right there are great. Safe. I mean, that, that grease just got changed, so. Just go in the front and chill and get drunk and do you got to do. Quit running about juice, man. That's all I'm saying. I've been here three and a half years. I know when I come to work, what to do. Powerball. I got everything back there clean. I filled up the coolers. I got everything back there clean? <laughs> you can't keep walking out, Kanae. Come on, man. I'm not going to keep doing that, bro. That. This is business. Get yes. your ass back in the kitchen. While you're at it, clean the fryer. Exactly. Can I get 10 minutes to myself, please? Come on, come on, come on now. Powerball.